Welcome Pisces Aries to your mid-month reading for April. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay guys, this reading is going to be from the 13th to the 21st. Okay, talk about the 21st on the 13th. My son just turned 21 this morning. So happy 21st birthday to him. Okay. And that doesn't make me feel old, right? <laughs> okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. 21, what a great age. Okay. Straight in here, what you're thinking and feeling. We have the High Priestess coming out, and it fell out with the King of Wands in reverse. So, okay. Let's get a Moon card out really fast for the overall clarifying card of what's going on. Just saying, lighten up. Enjoy life. Don't let life get you down, right? Love that. So it's more kind of a inspirational card this month. I'm using it as kind of like, you know, keep your, your temperaments low, lighten up. Don't let everything stress you out. Keep the lighter side of life. Um, I really enjoy it, that meaning there because it's really, you know, things get rough and sometimes we just need to, you know, kind of lighten up a little bit so that we just don't get too stressed out about a situation. So talking about this King of Wands over here, it's talking about using your intuition when it might come to this person. It might be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Um, but it's definitely the High Priestess is you. So it's definitely saying you are using your intuition to see all of the things more clear um, within the situation. Then having this lighten up is like really good next to this High Priestess because it says even though things get a little crazy, right? Our intuition sparks and we go a little nutso trying to figure things out and try to figure out who's trustworthy, what's going on. Um, it says, you know, just, you know, the more you lighten up and stay a little more cheery on the happy side, the more the intuition really wants to pop through. It will bring that clarity in so much better. Um, it says that over here, you might have somebody over here who has exaggerated ideas. How about that? Are you, you know, are you being a little over excessive and, you know, maybe over exaggerating things or are you with someone who's doing so? Um, maybe they make you have to lighten up because maybe if they're too excessive, they're rubbing it kind of rubbing you wrong, right? Um, if it is you who's kind of over excessive and feeling like you're kind of dragging it on a little bit, lighten up a little bit. It's okay, right? So this just brings in the humbleness um, within your life. So, either way, right? Let's see. And maybe it's both, you know? If they're being over excessive, they're going to pull those strings, right? I mean, sometimes when people are using rose-colored glasses or over-exaggerating a situation, it becomes more excessive on your side to try to get down to the truth to see clearly about the situation. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune upside down. It's like, yeah, well, you know, I was waiting for you to change. I thought you were going to make a big change. And your awareness of maybe the way they're changing the story, maybe the way they're exaggerating things, maybe you wanted them to change, maybe it's two in one. Um, but it does say that you are aware of the changes that are, you know, coming forth from um, this situation. It's kind of a downer. I just think that somebody you're dealing with is really excessively exaggerating a story. I just, I really do feel this. Um, because it's it's saying, yeah, it's a downer. It's a downer because I thought you were going to stop doing this. Or I didn't expect this coming. Um, you know, because you keep changing the story. Take that how it is. Um, but the King of Swords says, the communication that I was waiting for, I have to really think about the situation at hand. Um, because all this, con <laughs> all of could be your boss who's super over exaggerating something, right? It's like, you know, look, if you drop the ball with the King of Wands at work, maybe they're taking it to the next level. Maybe they're exaggerating it. Um, you know, you look, we messed up. Maybe they're taking it overboard. Um, with the Three of Wands, it's like, well, 
you couldn't look at it from any other point of view. Or they can't seem to look at it from any other point of view. It's almost like, you know, whatever the situation is, it's hard to get past. Right? It's hard to get past because they're making everything just overboard. I'm sorry. They're just taking everything overboard. Um, yeah, almost to a point where they want to actually cause a conflict or try to actually get verbal. They're actually making this into a bigger deal than maybe it could be. Um, when Anytime they exaggerate things, um, you know, it causes you, you know, to stress out. So, like I said, and maybe it's you, right? Maybe you're taking it to the next level and they're telling you to lighten up a little. Take it how it is, right? Because a cross watcher could say, no, Pisces Aries is taking it overboard. Um, so, however it is. Um, but, uh, with the verbal confrontation that they're trying to make, as we can see here, um, over exaggerating a situation. Um, you can definitely tell that it's, you know, it, it's pushing you out into the cold. It's it's definitely pushing you aside. That's for sure because you're you definitely don't want to be involved in the situation. So it's almost like you're trying to cold shoulder the situation. Um, and it also feels like they may be taking this so overboard that they're neglecting your feelings. Like why are you taking it so overboard? Um, so it does feel like it definitely it's. Uh, Something that actually, you know, is getting to the point to where it's um, hurtful, right? Not seeing it the way it should be seen. Anytime we over-exaggerate something, um, we're taking it to the next limit. Um, so a lot of times it can become hurtful because you can't perceive exactly what it is. It's almost like they're saying, you perceive it from this side, I perceive it from that side. As we see, we need to have a coming together to have this be more understood. Um, and they don't seem to want to do that. They seem to, you know, want to, you know, neglect the situation um, from your point of view is really what it looks like. And, it, you know, like I said, if it's you who's, you know, holding on to it, no matter what it's going to be, it's, it's going to be on you to, um, you know, Try to make the leap of faith and try to make this into a new chapter. So, you know, neglecting the situation is just going to be one of those things where it's like, yeah, whatever. Keep saying whatever you're saying. I mean, what do you, you're not going to win against this person, guys. Okay? You're not going to win. You're going to hold on tight, say what they want to say. You're just going to lighten up and be like, whatever. So, you know, they do seem very combative right now in the mid-month about this situation. It could literally be a situation that just took place um, right now, right? It's almost the he said, she said situation to where they, they take that so over extreme. Yeah, you need to just escape the situation because they really do want to make it more overwhelming than it really is. Um, gotta love that when people want to take it to the next limit, right? It's like, wow, where'd you come up with that idea? Right? And that's really what it is. How did you get to that conclusion? So it does feel, it does feel like you're caught in some kind of situation um, where they're trying to imprison you. They're trying to entrap you, um, you know, and, and they're not taking any kind of necessary change, right? They're not going to change the behavior at this time. Um, they they want to see it fit as they want to tell the story. Interesting. So there you are. So you're trying to escape and travel away from it, trying to do everything you can, right? Because they are trying to get you stuck inside your head, um, you know, and, it, you know, it's going to have to be like the ultimate self-sacrifice in its own way um, to try to escape because, you know, you have to really do what you need to do um, to build up the courage um, to really just be the bigger person. And that's really what we're seeing here is being the bigger person. Okay, that's fine. You see it your way out of care anymore. Um, and that's really what it comes down to is just not giving them any more energy to the situation. Because it almost feels like the more you come back to them, the more they want to grab that um, energy and play on it. So it's pretty much like they're saying, well, you know, if you just ignore it, um, if finally it will go away. Um, but yeah, they're going to keep coming at you. So yeah, you're going to have to become the bigger person and just say, yeah, whatever. And this will change. It will. See, it will walk you right into a new chapter. 
It will change everything around. It will say it's now concluded. It has ended, but you're going to have to wait, right? You're going to have to wait because you know, even when you're like, whatever, they want to keep coming back, trying to, yeah, still wanting to say you're irresponsible or say this and that. They talk their, you know, talk their talk, but it will, yeah, it will change. It'll take a new direction. Well, because look, if you're not paying attention to it anymore, they have nothing to feed off anymore. So now all they're going to end up doing is just grumbling around, right? We've all seen that before. Oh, whatever. So you just see them grumbling around. <laughs> Absolutely. So it just comes to the point to where you just stop actually defending yourself. Walking away. Yep. Becoming more, you know, more humble. They might say, oh, you did that because you know you're guilty. Let them talk. Because no matter what, they're the type that want to win. So they're not going to give up the ghost unless they get their way. <clears throat> they want to make up a story and, and go with whatever that is. Um, but in the end, you get the better blessing because you've united yourself with what you know is the truth. Um, and, you know, and you do know the truth. You are the high priestess. And this is where the lightening up really comes in. Because once you stop feeding it and stop feeding them the ideas that they can come back at you, <clears throat> then they don't want to do anything anymore. It's just going to push itself into a whole new direction. Other decisions, other conversations. See, what it's going to do is it's going to end up opening up different conversations. It's like they're going to give up the ghost and now they want to talk about something else. Well, because look, it's just you just really pushing it under the rug because it's not worth the conflict. So you not focusing on it anymore and you really walking away from this situation instead of allowing it to progress. Yeah. And cold shouldering the situation makes them cold shoulder the situation too. See, because now the queen of swords is the, um, is the king of swords. So it's saying now they're cold shouldering the situation. Now they just stop talking. They've moved away from the situation. Now they can go finger point at someone else. They have other issues and other things that they can look at. And I'm telling you, if it's your boss, now they can go look and see whatever they're doing. Oh, look, now Joe over there is doing something bad. Let me go grubble at him for a while. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So now they, it allows them to move past you to go towards whoever else or whatever else situation there is without grumbling about that same situation. It seems like somebody who's just really grumpy. Really reminds me of some like grumpy dad or grumpy grandpa, grumpy boss, um, who's just really looking to you know, just kind of really antagonize situations around the workplace. Because that's really what it looks like for most of you. Now, if it's not, you can throw that away. You know your own story um, in your own situation. But that's really what it looks like uh, for the majority of you. It's somebody who just wants to point fingers and just, you know, manage or, you know, the manager just wants to come around and just blah, 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 you know, and uh, just wants to nitpick. Then maybe that's what it all is, too. Making up excessive stories and nitpicking the situation into something much bigger. So, you know, whether it's your husband, your wife, your work, whoever, but that's definitely what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, you get out of it. It's like, woo! So, you know, by pushing them away and not letting, allowing them to do this anymore. Um, oh, boy. I also feel like the lighten up needs to be on them as well, though, right? So I think as, as like you start lightening up and kind of pushing away from it, they'll start lightening up on you. And but no matter what, they look like they're on the attack this month, you know? They just really want to go around nitpicking everybody. I used to work for a boss like that. He just run around, and everybody used to always tell me to, don't give him any, just yes, sir, and then walk away because, and then he used to follow me around. He was an older man. But yeah, oh my gosh, the owner is what he was. It was crazy. But uh, and yeah, he did. He liked to nitpick everybody. But as soon as you didn't give him any um, kind of stay away from him, he kind of moves on to the next waitress. You know what I mean? I used to waitress at that time. And yes, he used to nitpick everybody. What is this? What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And he was just really mean hearted. Yeah, he was definitely the emperor. And I see you as the emperor as well. So it definitely could be an older an older gentleman or an older woman um, who's definitely, 
you know, in a spot of authority or putting themselves into a spot of authority. Um, so even if you're saying, well, they're not that big of an authority. Well, in their head, they are. In their head, they're the emperor. At least for this, the mid-month, right? Maybe the whole month. <clears throat> so however it is, but yeah. Because I do. I, I see the attacking. They just seem to want to run around attacking everybody. So, interesting. But like I said, you do get the Ten of Cups in the end, so... As soon as they start nitpicking at somebody else, now you're they're they're leaving you alone. Situation has died. So I would say that the major arcana for this one really is that emperor because I do believe that this person, um, you know, wants to exaggerate any story that they can to make themselves look better or to make you look worse or however the situation is. Um, I, I think it's more just to see it their way. How about that one, right? Maybe it is, though, too. And I do feel like somebody is dealing with, you know, some kind of fire sign, especially like Leo and Sagittarius, where it's like it's my way or the highway. You know what I mean? Um, type of energy coming off. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.